What is up, kids and cubs? Welcome back. I'm the Wolverine 114, and really welcome back because it's been a couple hours since we did our Animal Crossing stream, and we're going to be starting tonight our Resident Evil 3 Hardcore run. Uh, again, I love, love, love this game. I can see how some people have some issues with either the length or a bit of the creativity with the bosses. I didn't mind it at all, honestly. Um, but I can see where people are coming from. I can understand. I, I can understand it, but personally, it didn't bother me none. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Uh, I'd, I'd put it just underneath RE2, I think. Um, although there's some things that this game does better than RE2. Um, uh, the, the remake, I should say. Uh, so it's all, it's all really... I don't know. <laughs> but I, I just love the game. Uh, I played some Resistance with Crimson Fury. Uh, so yesterday or two days ago? I don't know. Time, time is weird. Um... <laughs> Especially now with the whole thing. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to be jumping into Resident Evil 3 Hardcore mode. Um, and I've been watching some other people play as well. And been playing through on my own, uh, my own playthrough. Um, and I've, I've discovered some things that I had missed prior, um, and, uh, wait, where's the, ooh, I've got 2,000 points, um, hmm. Wondering, should I get the bolt cutters right now and just be able to get everything right off the bat? Or should I hold off on that and get the hit pouches? Because those can be real, real helpful when it, get, when it comes down to it. Because with the lockpick, well, I get the vault cutters first, but having the lockpick already unlocks a bunch of stuff before I should be able to get to it. Um, infinite? Well, it's just an infinite handgun, an infinite assault rifle. Infinite rocket launcher. Damn. Yeah, I could also just save up for for weapons, which you know can be good. Ugh. It's it's uh it's a tough decision, but. I think I'll hang back on it for right now. And then as I keep playing, we can keep coming back to the shop and seeing if we've gotten anything else. Uh, but we're going to do a new game. We're going to do uh, Hardcore. We're going to jump right into this. And we'll, we'll watch the cutscenes again, because, you know, why not? This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. I like how they actually... They have a combination... Um... They have a mix between, like, actual real-world stuff here and CG these are the core values that create the foundation for umbrella still a Matt Gorkus this is like what kind of a name is that <laughs> sorry to any Matt Gorkuses out there 
will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Like this, this shot in particular. Like the doctors, I think, are real people. And obviously, Nemesis is CG. But it's like really hard to tell, and I think that, uh, I think, uh, Max, uh, Maximilian Dude brought it up best when he said, uh, at least I think it was, it was either him or Vine Sosveni. I watched a lot of people's, like, part ones all at the same time. Uh, but one of them said, uh, like, it's a testament to gaming, uh, to, like, how far gaming's come for the fact that, like, you can't always tell if it's real or if it's CG. <laughs> like, it's it's not always easy. Oh, shit! Pooperstein, thank you for the 100 bits for Jill Resi Babe of the Year Valentine. Man, you are obsessed with Jill. <laughs> How you doing tonight, man? Let me give you a shout out. Pun intended. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so uh, a couple things that were pointed out to me in other playthroughs uh, that I hadn't noticed. The pills aren't here in her dream world. Um, instead, there's just coffee, which I don't know if that's supposed to be symbolic. But, uh. Oh, just a bit, pun intended. Ah. Uh, Get it. I didn't see the just a bit part. Now it makes sense. And also, there's her hat from RE1, even though we are wearing that costume at the moment. Um, let's shut the window, because cause you don't want the rain coming in. I prefer another item of clothes. Oh my god. <laughs> also... The physics engine in this game is just great. <laughs> I love that. Also, I wonder, like, it would be cool if, like, some of these clothes in here were, like, alternate costumes, but probably not. <laughs> yeah, that was dope, right? Like, the RE engine is just, like, it's so, it's so intricate and honestly really innovative in a lot of different ways and it is amazing the fact that they not only handcrafted this for re7 but are also managing to do multiple games afterwards and it still is like managing to find new ways to impress like that is the mark of a truly good game engine And I think I think RE8 might be might be the same thing as well. Uh, or they might they might upgrade the engine for RE8. Who knows? We won't know till it happens, but. I believe Capcom just had a uh, just had a poll. I'm not I'm not sure where. I think it might just be on their site uh, about what fans would want to see more. Um, she's even hot as a zombie. They they really found a good actress to be Jill. I can't remember why they didn't get the original actress. Um, I think I think it was scheduling conflicts. I might be wrong on that. Um, Three more days, then I can kiss worst month goodbye. of my life. <laughs> oh, it hasn't even started. Um, oh, there's a there's a shot of Leon down there. The RPD uh, kind of resembles Mila Jovovich. Yeah, she kind of does, but like, like her acting, her voice work, and like everything about her playing the character is really spot on like pills. like she's it, they honestly got a really good actress to play jill that should have been jill in 2002 
There's a lot of things they should have done differently with those movies, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, we already read all this in the first playthrough, so I'm not going to go back through and do all of it. But, um, But yeah, no, there's there's a lot of things they should have they should have done different with those movies, but hopefully I, I think I think they were talking about possibly doing some rebooting. And if they do, um I hope they would stick a bit closer to the games. <laughs> Like, even in the, like, original costume, she looks good. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with the movie stuff, so I'll reboot. I mean... I mean... Unless they do what Chris Nolan did with Batman. Well, the thing is, like, I feel like we've entered a new age in... In, uh... Video game movies, where I think things might be changing for the better. Uh, after Detective Pikachu and Sonic, both were massive hits at the box office because of how accurate they were to the source material. Um, I, I feel like more companies should be catching on with that. Just a sec. Um, Sonic took suggestions from fans at the last minute. Yeah, because they literally got so much backlash that it was like, oh shit, we need to change this. But then... But what they ended up doing was they got the, uh, they got the creative designer of Sonic Mania, or no, like, the director of Sonic Mania, and made him the lead creative designer on the movie to completely revamp the entire thing. Uh, and it showed. It honestly showed. Sonic was act actually ended up being a pretty damn good movie, and it shouldn't have been by any stretch of the imagination. But it was. <laughs> it was like, the fuck? <laughs> um, like any great endeavor, find someone with, who has a passion and knowledge. Exactly. And I feel like that's kind of, that's kind of what these past two movies have shown with video game movies. Not Paul Anderson, who watches a clip from RE5 and says, yeah, stick that in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm... I'm nervous about Monster Hunter, but there's not really too many ways to do Monster Hunter and fuck it up, so... Eh. <laughs> like, it's still very possible, but it's a very simple game. As long as you have that simple premise in there, it should, it should work. Like, yeah, there's a couple of, like, key characters that you need to have in there. Like, the handler, or, like, a couple of the people around the, the, the base. But, and, and, you know, obviously, like, uh, you know. Uh, the, the, the little things that make it Monster Hunter, which that's where they could fuck up. Um... Uh, what do you think of that Doom movie? I feel like if they were actually given the budget that they wanted to have, I think it would have been really good. They didn't, and it was shit. But you could see there was a little bit of effort put into it. Like, a little bit more effort than even in the original movie. Like, like they tried to have imps, and they tried to have fireballs. It looked like absolute shit, but they were working on a budget. <laughs> like, like... 
like everything was bad but but oh oh that doom movie oh the original doom movie yeah the um, yeah first person part was cool i feel like carl urban would make a good doom guy but aside from that yeah that movie was bad no i was thinking about doom annihilation that came out like last year carl urban makes a great carl urban you're not wrong hey let's how you doing <laughs> Let me give you a shout out. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like that Doom movie uh, wasn't all that great. I feel like Do Event Horizon was a better Doom movie than the actual Doom movie. Um. <laughs> liking this discussion of cinema dude i'm a i'm a big cinema uh cinephile so like i i love movies <laughs> um but yeah with doom annihilation it was it was bad by by no stretch of the imagination was that movie good here let, let, let me just flip this over to here well so i'm not just like talking it, it was not good whatsoever but you could see they tried you could see they, they, like, there was a little bit of emphasis there. There was a lot of references to the game. There was, like, they actually tried to have imps. They tried to show off hell. It's just, I think they were really working within a really constrictive budget. And it ended up really backfiring on them. Worst game to movie, supposedly House of the Dead. Yeah, um, the worst one I've seen, personally? Uh, Max Payne. Max Payne was bad. It got weird. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. See, see, at least with Super Mario Bros, they at least tried to keep as many elements from the original in there. Max Payne, which is a game about basically a guy going to war against gangsters because they... It's basically Punisher. It's, it's basically Punisher. But he's a detective. Um... For the movie, they got Mark Wahlberg and demons, the supernatural, mixed with drugs, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> uh yeah, uh, Angelina Jolie made a terrific Lara Croft with the movie, yeah, she made a good classic Lara Croft. Um, I honestly didn't mind the new movie based on the new games. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It was just kind of middling. It was definitely not the worst of the adaptations I've seen. Yeah, no. Oh, what's her name? I can't remember her name, which it's sad because she's in a lot of like really great movies. Uh, her name is just completely escaping me right now. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alicia Vikander. That's it. Yeah. Uh, like, she's really good in just about anything she's in. Uh, it, absolutely incredible in Ex Machina, if, you, if you've seen that. Yeah. Um... Uh, but the movie itself was just kind of like, eh, it's there. Definitely not the worst. It's better than Assassin's Creed. Um, <laughs> not that I went back and watched it. <laughs> hey, Ex, Ex Machina is a good movie. Wouldn't blame you. Yeah, Assassin's Creed was... Ugh. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, let me... Let me, uh, let me talk and play at the same time. <laughs> um. Hello? But yeah, like, there's been a lot of really bad video game adaptations. But recently, they've actually been doing not too bad. And, like, really just, like, movies and shows based on things have been doing a lot better than they ever have in the past. Like, 
comic book movies are big, giant, <laughs> successful example. Um, we've got The Witcher fucking blowing away everything on uh, on Netflix. The Witcher's good. If, 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 if you guys ain't seen The Witcher, it's, uh... It's good. <laughs> um, I think. Uh, see, it's it's even hard to think about like what mo what video games have been turned into movies, because like. Oh, also, apparently, it, like, this guy actually does fall if you keep watching, but I don't really want to keep watching. <laughs> ah, hi. I forgot about that. For some reason, that slipped my mind for a second. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think, what, what was another... The first Silent Hill was good. Uh... The second one, not so much. Second one, actually, definitely not. But the, the first one was actually pretty good. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh no, it says it needs to nip me. Oh no! Oh yeah, you can't actually just stop there. Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, I hadn't seen anyone actually try it, so... <laughs> I didn't know if it was actually possible to just stop there, but it is. It's very possible. Skills? Over here. Brad. You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Can I just can I just take this fire hose for later? Okay. Thing always leads to another. It's like our clay on steroids. Also that 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 uh Mars Carlisle is off duty. Uh I didn't even realize that's supposed to be like a Val Kilmer. Which makes sense now that I look at it. Hey wait! Down here! Damn it! I could have been Germany. How could this many people be infected? Also, uh, for any of you who are hardcore, hardcore RE fans, there's Misty. Uh, the female zombie that's always in, in everything. And she'll still move out to... Yeah, from RE2. And a lot of other RE games, apparently, as well. They keep using her like a, like an Easter egg. Don't think about it. Brad had it coming. Yeah, he kind of redeems himself at the end of this, or like here though, and then he immediately fucks it up afterwards. But like, like, like he actually like sacrifices himself, and like don't fuck up like I did. That's like that's really a lot of character growth right there. <laughs> and then, but then because of that, he ends up killing Marvin. So fuck him. But. At least he tried, you know. <laughs> Brad Chicken Heart Vickers, yep. Fucking hell. Like, like he has a little bit of a redemption arc right there. Marvin had it coming. Oh, Marvin was nice. Yeah, yeah, no, like Marvin. Marvin was a good guy. He's a good cop. He's a damn good cop, Marvin. Down there. 
Yeah. Give that man an Oscar for RE2. <laughs> Dude, he, yeah. Again, the actors that they get for these games are actually like really good. Like, and like the, the voice acting for, uh, the voice acting for everybody. Like, I, uh, some people get caught up in the like, oh, well the facial animations are kind of fucked up and like have that kind of like, have that kind of mess, you know, mess. It, it'll affect the performance, but if you close it, if you close your eyes and just listen to the voice actors, they are really damn good. Like, <laughs> ah, hi. I didn't even press the button that time. What? I pressed the- I pressed R1. Damn it. Yeah, Jill's acting was so good to me. My god, man. <laughs> Come on. Sounds like Nemesis ain't the only one with a hard on for the only two stars left in the city. He can have bread. <laughs> hey, run, 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 and it doesn't matter anyway. I'll take jelly beans. <laughs> coming Come on. Damn it. go 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 it's my beach hey it's like me versus Jack Baker in re7 VR fucking my world bitch. <laughs> I still can't believe I actually managed to do that. I didn't even know it was possible to kill him like that. I just, I thought I was memeing by just constantly running him over with the car. And then it's like, no, you can actually win the boss battle like that. I had no idea about that. <laughs> H had, had you seen that part, Pooperstein? Like, had you seen anyone do that before? Because I honestly hadn't. I just thought, oh, I can just keep running them over with the car, and it's funny. And it's like, it's like, no shit, like, he actually, he can actually die from that. <laughs> oh shit, okay. It does this whole cutscene where he like jumps on top of the car, rips the hood off, grabs the wheel, and then drives it into a wall uh, while you're still in it. <laughs> and like, it nearly like, impales your head on a like a beam but it impales him on several beams so it's like okay cool and in vr it's just like ah ah <laughs> yeah check out my uh check out my re7 vr playthrough on youtube it's i it's there i did it it was i didn't even know it was possible until i just i was just like you know, fuck it. I'll just keep hitting him with the car. See what happens. <laughs> I think we're in the clear. <laughs> just back up, forward, back up, forward, back up. <laughs> My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay. I get yeah, you know, six feet. Let's go. Six feet apart or six feet under. Oh, you know. Come on. This dipshit to close this. Sorry, oh, there, dude. Oh my god. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Hey, Pippas. Like no thanks. 
is all yours. <laughs> I beat us. I promise you're a <laughs> I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. BCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? That's you the guys best. The ones who That's the best oh, butthead I can do. It's, I'm, I'm, it's not. It's not that great. <laughs> but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? I, I I don't do impressions. I like. Come on. It's this way. <sighs> Party, 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 hey, let's play with me. Fuck you, fuck no, fuck all of that shit. Raccoon real estate. Rooms for let. All inquiries tell. I wonder if that's a real number. I'm scared to call it. Two four zero 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 one two zero six four. Hold on, let me look up the number. What's what's it? Tried calling Jill's number, not banned in seven states. <laughs> It's a mobile phone in, oh no wait, that's, that, no. Hold on, where's, where's white pages? Oh shoot, I forgot, okay, never mind, it works, wait, what happened? Reverse phone. Should have copied and pasted that. Hold on. 240 001 2064. Hosting you set to auto. Oh, okay. No matches for this number. Huh. Okay. I wonder I wonder if they uh, specifically got a number that doesn't exist. That or I'm reading a number wrong. Well, thank you for the host. <laughs> this fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady your name? <laughs> to ban myself? Why? An elite no, don't ban yourself to in love with you. Dear God, man. <laughs> Her name is something Valentine. <laughs> you need some water, men? You sound thirsty. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. Had <laughs> three already. I sent here to <laughs> rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? This city is complete. Mikhail is cool. He is. Dude, he goes out like a fucking badass. Like, we wind up dead. Well, correction, dead. not only that, but right before then, he fucking confronts Nikolai and he's like, hey, the fuck was that? He's like, huh, it's funny how all of these things just kind of seem to happen, huh? <laughs> like, like, he straight up confronts Nikolai, the guy who ends up being the final villain of the game, and, like... And then goes out like a fucking badass. <laughs> All right. I'm in. True soldier. Yeah. But I am on their side, not yours. In a deformed way, Nikolai was kind of one of my favorite villains because he's such a worm. Yeah, like, and the fact that like he's been, like he's kind of been pulling strings to make you fight nemesis like that was kind of an interesting thing to to get revealed 
where he's like, oh wait, I didn't even check out down here. No, there's nothing down here anyway. One Nemesis, two Wesker, three Nikolai, four everyone else. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know. I think, uh, I think personally for me, I think Wesker would rank higher than Nemesis just a little bit. Um, then my third, yeah, I think they did Nikolai a lot more justice in this game. So what's the plan? Like them all, though they're almost a virtual tie for me. Yeah, like that's that's one thing RE really does well is the villains. Like Wesker, it's Chris's Yang, and Nemesis is Jill's. Yeah, that that's that's a pretty accurate way to put it. Like they're very like it's it's his it's literally their name. Nemesis. <laughs> it's both of their nemes nemeses. I guess it just kind of comes down to to who. All oh, right, right. The lockpick is starts in the starts in the box. Yin. All right. Yeah. I guess it would be like Yin to their Yang. Well, whatever. I, I get the I get the analogy. Uh, Nemesis is my favorite Nemesis. Fair. <laughs> Nemesis is awesome. Like, honestly. I... Fighting him in this game felt like every fight was new and each time you face him is personal. Like, it's never just like... Oh... You know, here we go again. I mean, yeah, the fights were pretty similar, but again, you're fighting the same guy over and over again. Um, is there anything? I think it's just it's just that over there. Okay, so yeah, that's that's where I am on my personal playthrough. So these next five are gonna be hardcore. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm not singing it. I'm not singing it. <laughs> it's funny though. It's funny. Hi there. Um, I'm gonna just not for right now. Yeah, that works. Ah, <laughs> uh, great. There's one. Mm, didn't get the second one. Damn it. What? I had. I had full health. I had full health. What? Even on hardcore, that should like m like maybe take me down to danger, but not a one-hit kill off a normal zombie. The fuck? I guess I guess that's the that's the trade-off for uh, for not having to use ink ribbons this time around. You don't need 
Good news, you don't need to use ink ribbons. Bad news, zombies can one-shot kill you. At full health. Okay. This ain't mission difficult, Mr. Hunt. It's mission impossible. My God. <laughs> I nearly just discarded that. <gasps> Whoops. That's definitely not what I want to be doing. Yeah, and I already got that one on my other playthrough. Oh, there's still more around here. I know there's something in there with that zombie cop dude. There's like ammo, but... And then there's... This over here, which I need the... That's the stuff of nightmares. I, had that, I just had fucking Bob the Tomato just, like, stare into my soul. It's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, like, the... The hell? <laughs> Uh, yep. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? One, two, Nami's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. I'm not gonna say the full thing. Fuck that. Yeah, that door ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Kyo! Kyo! I need to stop taking shots that I don't know if I can actually hit or not. There we go. Oh god, they're coming. Oh lord, they're coming. Oh, he's down. Oh god, you're not down. Fuck. Okay, that guy's dead. She's dead. Shot his hat off. A few dollars more. <laughs> Cute. The fuck was that audio cue? <laughs> was that was that the reload thing popping up? <laughs> Just boom. It's like oh, okay, cool. Someone with your item? Also, apparently, I didn't realize this until uh, I watched Scary Game Squad play this. Apparently, um, using full heal sprays, each one is like 
a letter grade down, which I didn't realize. And like, it's kind of the incentive to you to to craft and use the the herbs. No wonder I flunked. <laughs> yeah, like I I didn't even know that until like he was talking about it. it's like yeah it's it's big in the RE community that like you don't use the full sprays because it it kills your score. Which I had no idea. <laughs> Because, like, to be able to complete, like, fully complete the game, uh, which, you know, is what the completionist does, uh, he needed to get S rank on everything. Uh, at least for RE2. Um, and so, he had to take that into account. And just, uh, fuck all that. Get <laughs> my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> You're alright. I've gotta I've gotta run back to that room and drop off some stuff in the item box. What the? Oh my god, I thought that plant for a second was a zombie. I thought it was like a zombie going like that, and uh, I was like... <laughs> I was like, dear god. <laughs> okay, good, I'm not just like going insane. <laughs> That was weird. I was like, I ran by it. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> and then I looked at it. Oh, wait, that's a, that's a plant. Okay. Okay. My saves are going to be still pretty high, though. Just because, well, with hardcore, I don't know if they're doing checkpoint system. It might just actually revert me back to last save. I'm not sure. Um... Also, uh, dear God, there's so many of them. Oh, that hit all of these guys too? Well, okay then. I'm okay with that. There you are. I knew you were popping out of there. Damn it. Should have fired that last one. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I'm a nemi just for kicks. Ooh, ooh, I'm a nemi just for kicks. I ain't kicking this since I didn't really six it. <laughs> My god. Two years early, but it works. Yeah, I mean, he was probably made before, you know, the event happened. Got, got a zombie down here. Well. Here we go. Okay. Stay. Stab him in the penis. Right in the penis.
know, sometimes you just gotta get in those dick stabs. You know. That, that, that how it be sometimes. Yeah, I know how to use a key item. Been doing it this whole time. Oh, okay, now, now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> You, you just had to word it like that, and then suddenly it's just... Mm. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> just that moment of... Ooh, yeah, no. <laughs> Start thinking about, like, carrots on a chopping block, and it's just... Mm. Throw that, take that out, bind that, bind that, there go. Okay, really moving on. <laughs> so on a serious note, who do you think Nemesis was? I mean, I don't know if it's been like stated in lore who he was beforehand. Um Honestly, I, I, I doubt he was really much of anybody. Probably just some other, like, criminal or degenerate that they just... Some, someone who wouldn't be missed. That they just took away, experimented on, and turned into a killing machine, and programmed him into being like, Hey, kill this person. Or technically kill this team. And so he's like, okay. Possibly some sort of like Possibly some sort of like serial killer Because that's the thing with nemesis like Like he The way his character like operates in this game it almost feels like he takes a sadistic pleasure in Like toying with Jill and not really killing you Like like, he loves the cat and mouse game. Because there's been several moments where he could have just popped your head and been done with it. But no, he's, like, throwing you into the fire and, like, you know, oh, I gotta pull you over here. And it's like, like, I think it, it, it was probably someone very sadistic. Um, and combine that sadism with chemically induced rage and mutations... And I think you have a perfect, uh, you have a perfect combination for Nemesis. What if he was someone like a major character who got turned? I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about that. Because he kind of feels like his own thing. He's a Terminator, no fear, remorse, reasoning. Yeah, no, he's just, like, a, a pure killing machine who, like, even though he seems mindless, he enjoys every bit of what he's doing. It's... Like, he seems just like, oh, he's a monster. He kills. All that fun stuff. But then it's like... But... I don't know. moving way too much. I'm wasting way too many bullets on him. Okay. I'm glad knives don't have durability anymore. 
That was the thing in 2 I never really liked. But also at the same time in 2, you could use them to just avoid damage altogether. So it makes sense they had durability. So that you couldn't just do that the whole game. Uh, but taking that mechanic out, and then also taking out the durability, I, I think it, it was a good trade-off. Uh, I never thought of thought of it from that. Hey, fuck! I forgot about this guy. Yeah, cause like it's like the the things that Nemesis does is like like yeah he, he he's had several chances to kill Jill even at the point that we're at now in the storyline. Like, that whole first segment, he could have killed her at several points during the the apartment chase. But he didn't. And so it's like... So... Is he really trying to kill her, or is he just enjoying this? Raccoon City sure does love its decorate art that's found in, found randomly in random places, right? <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah, artwork. Okay. <laughs> uh, speaking of angle, oh my god. Ah! Hi, forgot you guys were there because you're really easy to deal with. Sad it took two bullets for that though. There she goes. Right, got everything down here. Let me head back to the save point. I even took out all the zombies down here. Got some stuff to drop off. That and like that and like that and I want to take take that back. I want to put that in there. My life literally comes to a halt when I see this game. <laughs> it's honestly a great game. Like, I I I'm confident in saying that this game surpassed my expectations. Um, it's, it's like, it's, it's honestly a really great game. I wasn't really expecting a whole lot, honestly, just cause, you know, it wasn't Capcom's, like, A-team on it, and they were developing it alongside 3, and like, there, there was a, there was a few different ways it could have gone wrong. And especially how they were kind of like, they announced RE Resistance first, and then they announced 3 as the story mode to RE Resistance, and it's like, huh? Um, so yeah, I, I was, I was a little nervous about the game, uh, and then it actually came out, and it's like, that! <laughs> I think that's a pretty accurate way of describing the game. <laughs> My god. Oh, that's a clip. That's a clip. And then it's like... Pfft. clip stuff. <laughs> I'll take care of it later. It's pretty easy. 
What, what, what do you normally use? No, no, no. Uh, mobile or uh, desktop when you watch Twitch. Desktop? Okay, so what, what you do is whenever it's like a clippable thing, if you hover over the screen, uh, on the bottom right there's settings, uh, clip, theater mode, and full screen. Just click, clip, and then it'll pop up like the last like minute or so, and then you can, you can trim that down into whatever kind of clip that you want to do it in. And then, uh, and then you hit publish, and then you copy the, the link that it gives you. Yeah. Always trim your clips, though, because an untrimmed clip, it's very easy to tell. <laughs> like, always make sure you just, y you get the meat of the, the clip. Don't, don't, you know. <laughs> the clips end up, end up shooting themselves in the foot if you don't trim them. Okay, this guy, if I don't take care of this guy, he's going to end up being a problem later on when I'm trying to run for the subway, and this guy's here. Wait for him to walk away a little bit. <laughs> Hate that stumble shit the zombies do. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying, but, you know, it's part of the challenge of the game. There we go. Alright, get in there, get in there, get in there. Stab, 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 stab in the face, stab in the face. Yeah. Awesome. So now, I think I've killed all the zombies that are in this first section, at least until they start respawning in. Uh, yeah, I still need to get the bolt cutters to get the last gem. Yeah. Yeah, unless another zombie spawns in somewhere, I think I've I've taken care of them all. Her run is perfection. <laughs> Cutters, yay. Um, so now I can grab the shotgun. Is someone in here? Yeah, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. He'll still be here when when we get back. <laughs> yeah. Um Actually, this gameplay has been very impressive so far. The... The... Just the game itself. I can barely make it past standard. Uh, I mean, I died from, like, one of the first zombies. I wouldn't say... wouldn't say it's very impressive. <laughs> okay, just making sure. <laughs> And this is like the beginning section, so it's not even that difficult. Oh, wait, shit, shit, shit. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. It's also helped that I've done this part twice already. On my, on my casual uh, New Game Plus playthrough on Standard, I've made it to where Carlos enters... RPD. Which isn't honestly that far into the game. Um, yeah, apparently from what from what I've heard meh, it was a it was a minor miscalculation. <laughs> well I'm I'm glad that you have that kind of faith in me. <laughs> Eh, 
and the hand pouch. Yes. Need that for what's coming next. <laughs> um. You know, I'll go grab the. I'll go grab the shotgun before I do anything else here. Um. Resident Evil is gonna bring back them fanny packs. <laughs> oh my god. Just imagine a bunch of people with like RPD hit pouches. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a pretty distinctly 90s thing. I I I doubt they would attempt to make a comeback. Oh, I should have I should have grabbed these things. Oh wait, no, my my inventory was full, but I gotta go all the way back. Actually, you know what? No, I'll just I'll keep going this way and stop at the item box at that at the midway point in the donuts shop. Oh my god, that fucking plant every damn time. Uh, it, it that's never bothered me on any other run. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna want to take these out because I'm gonna end up needing the shotgun. So I'll I'll save when I grab the shotgun. I do want to try to keep saves on a minimum. It's difficult because like I'm in the middle of like, well, should I should I save all the time because I'm on hardcore? Or should I keep saves at a minimum to get the best score? And thus more points, and then be able to buy better items in the shop. It's... it's a conundrum. But I kind of like the fact that that's... Like, like, there's brand new challenges once you beat the game. <laughs> like... Like... It's, it's not all the same shit, like... There's that. I think the last thing for the bolt cutters. Eek! Oh my dear Jesus. Okay, fuck. Hi. <laughs> is, is he dead? I think he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Was. Huh, okay. <laughs> is that loud? Uh, I, I think. <laughs> no, he doesn't look dead. Kill him some more. <laughs> okay, this should be the last thing for the bolt cutters. But yeah, I like how, like, once you beat the game... Oh, no. There's more for the bolt cutters. Oh, right. The, the progression room. Duh. Okay, yeah, you're getting up. Nope. <laughs> Just stab them all in the dicks. Or lack thereof. Ah, okay. Yeah, the... Does the shotgun just take them down? Cause that's kind of what it's feeling like. Oh right, there was a red barrel I could have used. <laughs> Simon says yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think, yeah, I've gotten I've gotten everything. That's good. Alright, let me... Yeah. Let me store that grenade, because I've already got three on me. Um... Let's save. Oh, I accidentally saved over that first one. 
it's hard with all of these because like in the last game I could separate it by like Leon Claire and Leon Claire and this one it's just like okay what number am I on like <laughs> what's the difficulty fucking toy uncle <laughs> so Hooverstein you played the original right Three essentials for survival, water, shelter, Jill Valentine. <laughs> so, like, how much did they change from the original story? A bit, actually? Huh. There we go. That's, that's the last thing I need to use that on. Okay, let's... Put these up here. I'll keep it discreet unless you ask specifics. Dude, I've already... I've already... I've already played through this whole thing, and I'm probably not gonna... be able to really go back and play the original, so... <laughs> oh, I, I, I want to point out something that's really funny. I'll be able to go back after this. This is really sad because, like, this dude's like basically this dude's the this dude's like the fucking Punisher. Like, he he goes and kills twenty gangbangers and gets a life sentence because they killed his brother. And like, and what are you, fucking Murphy. Killing your own people? Then fucking Nikolai just comes in and is just like, Return! Go back to the subway station. His diary was sad, yeah. Like, dude was like a fucking hit badass and then just goes out like that. Like, poor guy. Uh, but yeah, the thing I wanted to point out, uh, we've got enormous box. Type great. It would be nice if you had this one. <laughs> the fuck? You notice that too? It's like, oh, that. Uh, that definitely didn't get translated well. Best ad ever. <laughs> yeah, don't you want the enormous box? Type great. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, time to kill more zombies. Suicide note and some handgun ammo. Another really sad thing. <laughs> Upgrade to ginormous box. <laughs> Let me see if I can finally do this for the third time. There we go. Ta da! Oh god, they're still up! Are you still alive? Ah, shit. No, 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 no. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. There's one down. <laughs> They're both down. Okay. <sighs> that was a lot worse than it should have been. <laughs> When was the last time I saved? Because I'm debating just going back to last, last save. Uh, three minutes ago. I can make that up.
Because honestly, that was that was bad. I wasn't sure if the dogs were gonna like die after being electrocuted, and when they fell over, I thought they did. But no. <laughs> That. 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 Store. I'm gonna find a life size cut out of Jill. Oh God. I I don't want to know what you're gonna do with that. <laughs> Sadly, he'll be taller than me. <laughs> what do you mean, sadly? There we go. Saved ammo, saved life. That's better. I'm 2 foot 11. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> I'm uh I'm five six. So. <laughs> hey, we're both the same height. That's weird. I figured you'd be taller than me, just because you you look like you have a longer frame, but. <laughs> oh come on. If I can if I could land my bullets, that would be great, you know? Yeah. And actually be effective for once in my life. Oh, are you kidding me? You should be dead, bitch! Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm gonna take it. I'm sorry to disappoint. No, no, no. It's just you. I don't know. <laughs> Jill is five five. Ah. How is she shorter than me? Like nobody shorter than me. <laughs> Did you look up her full stats? Maybe. <laughs> oh my, oh my fuck. Ah! Mm. We're gonna, I'm gonna load. <laughs> He's a Virgo. Okay, enough useless trivia. <laughs> I don't know, I find it pretty fascinating. Yeah, we ain't been going for all too long. God, you've got such a massive fucking health bar! What the hell? There she fucking goes. Mmm. What is staggering? You know, just, just, just nothing apparently.
See, see, that's more like the health bar I was expecting. one of these. Ah, damn. Shouldn't have been as difficult as it was. I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to get more handgun ammo. Need a machete, not that toothpick they issue at stars. A uh, fucking apparently. I want to get that, uh, that, like, flame knife that they have in the shop but it's it's a lot of it's a lot of money <laughs> it's a lot of credits i should say like honestly that knife i think is made specifically for the people who use that tactic that i've been using where it's like yeah you, uh, you, you slash them after you down them because it lights them on fire so there we go that's what I was missing I think I've got a green herb in the box so yeah all right there's my health item um still good on shotgun shells I want to use this I forgot to do that before. Oh, and another hip pouch! Yes. Oh, I love hip pouches. My favorite item to get in Resident Evil, just because I I love I love um uh, what's it called? I I love inventory space. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's like 67k or something. No, it's not that much. It's like 8k, I think. Something like that. One of the original costume, but alas, I'm dead. Is it not like... Hold on. We're gonna... We're gonna look at something real quick. Because usually, like, pre-order bonuses like that end up being, like, paid DLC afterwards. Actually, it'd probably be faster to go here. I was downloaded in Steam. Yeah, but like if if this has it, Steam will have it too. I just want to see if it's possible to get it as like DLC. Okay, add-ons three. Oh nope, it's just stuff for resistance. Huh. Oh, and you can get both games in one. Huh, yeah, that, that sucks. Oh well, maybe they'll add it later on. Yeah, they're resisting me in the costume. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Okay, so I'm not going to make the same mistake that I did before. Where I use up one of these green herbs before because i need to use one for story progression purposes and what i ended up doing what, what i always ended up doing was i combined both of the herbs and it's like well now i've got to use this like bigger thing rather than just the one for the story progression and you just reminded me of something what i remind you i used to get matt damon when i was younger and thinner Yeah. These things are disturbing. I'm not combined. Examine. I got now. I got the lockpick. Extreme. I'll do what I remember. Okay. That means one of my lockpicks is completely useless. So let's box that shit. <laughs> 
I think this was as far as I went when I was playing, uh, was playing on stream. So, all this is brand new for you guys, at least for a second playthrough. Thank you, Sir Wolby. You're welcome. I don't know what I did, but... <laughs> Alright, then this fucking creepy ass thing. Yeah. I know a few videos that started like this. This is actually disgusting, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Use that. Not my fetish. <laughs> Not much for the, the tentacles. I've really got to be careful of these things because I don't know how strong they are in hardcore. Ew, Paris Hilton voice. Okay, it it did the dodge, but I didn't press R1, so I'm a little confused. Ah! Oh God! Okay, good to know. Shit, I should have kept the other one on me. I know th I know there is another one in here though. I just gotta get to it again. Ah. Uh, okay, never mind. We're using this. Yeah, there it is. Oh god, oh dear god. Fuck! These are a lot more annoying on hardcore. Damn it. Fuck you. Damn it. Uh, I should have brought more health items before going in here. I should have known that too. Like, that is most definitely something I should have known going in here. Oh, we're gonna fix that. Oh, God. Oh! I haven't seen that before. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, uh... That's a rough one. Drain Dymos. That's what they're called. Okay, so before we just rush in there, be all like, <laughs> let's go get ourselves some... healing items, because we fucking need them. That should be good. If not, then next time around we'll get more. We're done. Whew. 
This 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 place like the past two times that I've done this, I've just kind of breezed through it, and it's not really been much of a threat. But now it's like, oh shit, this is like serious, and I've got to got to treat it seriously, or else I'm fucked. shocked the fuck out of myself, but oh well. Oh, there's another one. There's number three. Almost got it. And then we've got to make our way out. Get there when we get there, I guess. Oh god, I can hear him. I hear him. Whenever you can hear him, but you can't see him. It's always a little more, uh, freaky! Oh, there you are. Oh, I clipped his tentacle. That, that was close. <laughs> okay, uh, come on, come on, come on. Almost got it. Shit, that's where I was supposed to go. Okay, okay, good. I timed that right. I was anticipating and I managed to actually time it just about perfect. Okay, we never have to deal with those motherfuckers ever again. Thank God. Use one of these. Okay. All that leaves is the main power switch. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy watching this one. save because fuck all that shit. <laughs> Alright, so the power's back on, now we've got to reroute the subway. But guess what that also means? Suddenly we're not alone. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Not your partner. <laughs> Wait, what didn't I get over here? Wait, wh where did I miss something? Oh, in here. What did I miss? Oh, that's that's the area going into Oh, I know what I missed. I know what I missed. That's that's an easy fix. Know what I missed? That's an easy fix. I forgot to go all the way that way. Cause there's an item box. Yep, there it is. Hang on ammo, yay. Now I got everything. Let me just uh, save over that one. 
because all that happened was I got the got the call and I got what I missed. So. And this time I won't forget to stop Nemesis because if I do, he drops the extended mag, and I need that. Which I missed that on my casual playthrough. Or on my second casual pleasure. Playthrough, I should say. You're Stop. kidding me? Come on, come on, jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it. Oh, he's not jumping. Well, fuck you. Yay! Downed him. Supply crate. Grenades in this game are really fucking powerful. Excited mag, yay! Combine. Boom. There we go. Speaking of which. Yeah, I've got replacements. Or a, and re a replacement. Just make sure. Um. Yeah, might as well. For some more nemi nem. Oh god! You know, I should probably look where I'm running. That would probably be a good idea. Since you know all these brand new zombies have appeared. Achilles heel. Took him out. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it! I knew there was gonna be one one of them that just didn't want to stay down. Make sure. Okay. Here comes Biggie Boy. There he is. And excuse me. Actually, I think this is a completely separate instance of you. So let me shortcut that to there. Oh, no. No, it's not. Never mind. Well, I wasted a grenade, but that's okay. Worst things have happened. Um... Now, nah, here's a predicament. Should I use my herb or not? Yeah, I'll use the herb. And then, uh... We'll, uh... Yeah, we took one of the sprays. Which is my just in case backup. I don't want to use it, but if I have to, I will. Oh, now both of them are getting up. Shit. Oh, nope. Both of them have been stabbed to death. Awesome. Okay, back again. <laughs> I managed to get two zombies with one knife. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? I think I'm doing better on this than I was in my New Game Plus standard. Alright, so first is Faust. Faust 2. Then R A R O three. Michael's O two. Valid root confirmed. Carlos, it's me. I finished into the subway.
sure the subway's ready to depart. Alright, then here comes creepy new enemy. Oh, I killed it with one. I didn't mean to sh I, I didn't need to shoot the other. I meant to shoot it, but I didn't need to. Fuck. I thought I could I thought I could down him by the time I got through there, but nope, doesn't look like it. Damn it, I'll, I'll have to use a. I'll have to use one of these. Damn. Didn't want to. Yep, Nemi's making these things. Is this the part that's a completely separate instance? Can't remember. Oh god. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> One of these is a separate instance that gives me the moderator. Hang on, I stepped out. Sorry, what happened? Oh, we've just been going through here. I'm trying to figure out which which time we fight Nemesis does he drop the moderator. Okay, I think it's this time. Yep, there it is. Unfortunately, it makes my handgun take up two slots, but... Oh, well. Oh, okay, I took it the wrong way. I heard I need a moderator. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't even think about the... the... the phrasing being the exact same. <laughs> or the word being the exact same. What? Oh, okay, you were not here when I was here before. Shit! Oh, that last shot saved me. That last shot saved me. Nope, no thank you. Fuck, fuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. God damn it. I went the wrong way. I, I thought I was at a different location than I was, and turns out I wasn't, so... Ha ha ha. Fuck me. Um, but yeah, we're... I had to use a first aid spray, so that's annoying, but they'll be doing again some late night stuff. Okay, no problem. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need thirty to forty minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai. How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? <laughs> She's helping get the trains running. I'm doing better than you, you bastard. Getting dead weight from you. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. You know, it's it's weird. <laughs> what would have happened if Sorry, like sir. Carlos agreed with him? Everyone's a little worked up. Nikolai would have been completely fucked with his, uh... Oh, come on. With his, uh, I need to gather gather information mission. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait! Wait, Joe! No! Damn it! Oh, God. Right, right. Yeah. 
Okay, got that. There's items in here. Oh god. He, he's, he's not- he's- he is very displeased at the moment. But he dropped another supply case. Let me examine that, open it up. Some shotgun shells, which I'll combine there. And then, uh, fuck you, Nemi. She goes. I don't know why I said down he goes when looking at Jill, but I mean he went down as well, but in a different manner of speaking. <laughs> now that, out of context that sounds really bad. <laughs> Carlos, do you copy? Carlos? You know, playing through this, I wonder if I wonder if they did the thing that they did in Spider-Man where they actually had different voice lines recorded in different ways uh for what kind of stat what kind of status you're in. Um Is there still more stuff in here that I haven't gotten? Oh, the map a map of the area. Perfect. Um, because it does seem like she's more pained at some points when she's talking when I'm when I'm hurt. So I don't know if that's specifically what's going on or might be wrong. I saved that on the right slot, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Or maybe it was just kind of like, oh, after, uh, you know, it was after an action sequence, so she was out of breath, but. Oh, what was that? What was that? It was the Hunter Gamas. Are annoying as fuck. Um, yeah, I want to go this way first. Kill this gamma first. I don't know how many shots he's gonna take though, because they have more health on hardcore. Okay, oh you reload. Five stunts, which could take either one or two shots, depending on when I get it off. Yikes. Oh, but... Right, right, right. We're in the office, which means grenade launcher! I forgot that's why I come here first. <laughs> Not combined. Shortcut. There. Now I don't know if it'll still be a one hit kill. Which might end up being scary. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Big boys, let's -a go. Should probably 
have the secret weapon equipped. Come on, Hunter Gamma. Hey, how you doing? Is it gonna one-shot them again? I would think so, because it's- it's- yeah, okay. It still one-shots them. Because it's all of their weaknesses in one. It's like, you shoot it inside their mouth, which is one of their weaknesses. Uh, another weakness is... Uh, they're, they're weak to heat. So that's- that's another thing. Like... It's, it's literally all of their weaknesses in one, so if I didn't one-shot them, I would have been very disappointed. <laughs> and also quite terrified. So what the fuck do you do at that point? You use two, and then you're fucked for this guy. You are still alive. Okay, it just took another shotgun round. There. Ooh. Okay, so it may or may not kill them in one shot. Which is a scary thought, but... You know, I guess that's how things go. Hey, Les, how you doing? We're just over here playing some, playing some Resi 3. Combine with that, which then combine with that, yeah. Also, green herb, yes. Gunpowder. Yeah, this is the part where I have to go back and forth a bunch. You're okay? What, what's, uh, what's going on? Okay, now my inventory is full. There's still gunpowder here. And the battery pack, which is the story item. So, as long as I don't grab that, story doesn't progress. Which means I can run back and forth between here and the safe room over in the office. And no new enemies spawn. It's just a lot of running back and forth. Oh, and, uh, yeah, okay. We're still okay. Place is a little bit of a maze. Ow! Ah! Right behind my right eye, just, uh... Ah. Nothing well. Hubby left for work and I have problems sleeping when he's not here. That's fair. I have obviously never been married, but, uh... There was a time that I was staying with my girlfriend for an extended period of time, and I got used to used to that. And then when we when we broke up, uh, and this was this was years ago. So but when we broke up, I had a lot of trouble sleeping for a while just because I was so used to someone else being there. So. It'll be 13 years in August. Damn. Nice. Congratulations. I don't need grenades for right now. Um, that all looks good. Alright. But I can't grab... Do I have any gunpowder in here? No. God, I'm gonna have to go... I'm gonna have to make another trip to there and back, and then back to there to get everything because over there has the gunpowder and then with that I'll have to come back because the battery pack takes two slots like a bitch now when you get used to it it's not, it's not a matter of the length it's hard to adjust for not being there yeah oh there was flame art flap 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 there's flame rounds right there that I could have grabbed. Oh well, I didn't need any extra anyway, so. 
Yeah, it's just like you just get so accustomed to it, and then by the like, if anything changes, it's like, ah, uh, what do I do? <laughs> like everything just feels off, and you can't really. Uh, it's it's hard to adjust. But yeah, I I, I get that. I think for me it was like a good two weeks where I just I couldn't sleep normally it was it was like really weird eventually I just settled back into it because you know you get you, you get a ton of years of practice beforehand <laughs> but I did, uh, did Animal Crossing earlier. That was fun. Normally, normally I'd be a lot more wiped out from, from, uh, normally I'd be a lot more wiped out from, like, double streams. But I've been doing it a lot more recently because of all the games that came out and all the, all the stuff I had to tackle with both of them. Um, Oh god, right, right, I forgot. Oh, I forgot a new one spawns. Oh god, that was close. I forgot, we are in, we are in story territory now. So. There we go. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it really has been a long month. And like, especially like, with me trying to cover all these, like, big games coming out. Like, I had to tackle Ori 2, um, Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing dropping, me slowly becoming an Animal Crossing streamer, then this dropping after that, and now in three days now, uh... Final Fantasy 7 dropping, which I'll have to pre-order that after stream, because I finally got paid. Um, a lot, a lot happened. <laughs> um, even more is still going to keep happening. And that's, that's just in, like, the personal slash entertainment world. Not even talking about the rest of the world. That's honestly been crazy since the beginning of the year. And now it's just getting worse and worse. But you know, it's 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 gonna get worse before it gets better. So And last I heard they they and don't don't take my word as law here, I'm I'm like hearing it from someone else who read a thing, so uh, but I heard that they might have found a not yet FDA approved, but still viable. I, I keep making this mistake every time. Uh, possible treatment for the thing? Uh, but they're, they're working on it. Because it takes a little bit to, to figure out if, if that's going to be viable. And then it takes a bit to figure out, well, how much of a dose do you need? And how does it react to the human body? But I think if they really have found, like, a possible treatment, I think that's a big step past or that's a big step forward. Um, 
just due to the fact that before that, it's just they 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 just keep throwing. Uh, before that, it's basically just throw these chemicals that might work at this thing and see which one possibly could do a thing. And then there's a lot of trial and error with that. So, but take all of that with a grain of salt. I don't know if it's actually, if it's actually official or not. Could be someone just trying to drum up news, or it could be actually what's going on. I don't know. Do some research. Figure it out for yourself. Alright, come on, big guy. There we go. Now, rather than just a... Just a flame round, it takes a flame round and a shotgun shell. <laughs> By the way, how's the audio for you guys? Is it is it quiet, or...? But some parts it seems like it might be a little quiet, and then some parts it's like, not really. I don't know. Yay, hit pouch. It's okay? Alright. Cool. I has more inventory, which I love. Kick that down and head on down. Said down twice, but fuck it. Okay, what's on the other side of this again? A bunch of stairs. Yeah, okay, so. I think we should save at this point. Does she move faster depending on what gun she's carrying? No. Okay. Guess that's not how it would work in real life either, because you would still be holding all of these things. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to go to bed. Another early day at work tomorrow. Have a great rest of your stream. Well, thank you for stopping by, Booperstein. You are amazing. Thank you so much, man. Let me give you a shout out. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. You are awesome. Everyone who hasn't checked him out yet, what the fuck you doing? Go check him out. He's awesome. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a great night, man. Wait, wait, oh, oh, that's the battery pack, right? Cheers, man. Have a great night. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. Subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. All right. This part. Hi, Nemi. <laughs> You've got an upgrade. I should have grabbed my, uh, grab my grenade. Ah, no! Uh. I was tempted to try to fight him there. Just to, to see if he would drop something. But I, I don't think that's a fightable area. Uh, mainly just due to the fact that... Like, he's doing a constant stream of fire in front of him. That is something I'm not willing to try on Hardcore. <laughs> that's, not, that's not exactly a... Uh, Hard hardcore isn't exactly the, oh, let's test out things kind of mode. 
<laughs> Although some things, some things end up working. There we go. I gotta get that timing down. It's like, uh... I gotta get out. Quick. Oof. Uh, it, it's like in Dark Souls, learning to parry. I've, I've got to learn to evade. Good. I like that little touch of he actually lights the thing on fire as you, as you run by. Go, 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 go! And yeah, uh, yeet. I like his roar in this game a lot better than the original. In the original just sounded like some guy just saying, Stars. 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 <laughs> and then in this one's like, Stars. And it's like, okay, cool. Uh, I'm a little bit more afraid of this version of Nemesis. <laughs> um, take a hand grenade just in case. Actually, I don't think I'll need it. And if I end up dying and it turns out I do need it, well then... I'll... come back for that. <laughs> Hello! Hello, nyam -me -nyam. Oh, that's why it hasn't been so loud for me. My, uh... My headphones weren't fully plugged in. There we go. That's better. I like how he actually starts learning as you as you keep fighting him of like oh yeah she's shooting my fuel tank or she's shooting explosives at me so it's like oh she's shooting explosives then let me uh let me sidestep and dodge oh she's hiding behind cover let me let me basically take out her cover options oh dear god that's that's what that's why we make the health items um. Ow. Wow, he, he- one- one hit from him takes me down to- takes me down that far. Damn. Uh, like, oh, she's hiding behind cover? Let me look at her cover options. Uh. Did I grab everything? No, there's shotgun shells. Right here. Now did I grab everything? No, there's still more. Huh. What's... what's remaining? Oh, I've already got him down to this phase. Damn. Oh, that's remaining. Right. A green herb in a box. So close! 
Damn, I was doing good. <sighs> yeah, I've I've, I've got to get that that dodge timing down. That's 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 what it comes down to, really. Actually, already nearly got the fuel tank down. Oh, God! Damn it! Ah. Okay, I was wondering when we would get to this point where we just keep dying over and over again. <laughs> it always happens. Every time we try something on a uh, on the hardest difficulty of anything, there's one point where we're just gonna get stuck for a little bit. Well, that's okay, cause that's kind of comes with the territory of this kind of thing. Out, 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 out! No, stop, stop, stop! You fucking asshole! How am I doing? Caution. Uh, that means probably one hit would kill me. So let me uh, take this green herb. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a risky play. Okay. Okay, I, I honestly didn't need to do the risky play. It's like, I forgot that there was the second green herb, but... We've, we've already got him down here. But but because he did this whole bullshit, I'm stuck. It's still kicking. Damn it. Uh, I should have should have waited for an opening to do that. Ah, I did it too early. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I got everything, so... I know not really the time to be worried about that, but... Oh god! Oh, that's gonna insta-kill me, isn't it? Still here looking on the phone? Oh, you're fine. Timing dash and boom. Yeah. It looked real cool. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, I, I thought we would, I thought that would take a couple more tries. Uh. Turning your 
something to be. He could have been killed. <sighs> Don't or worse, expelled. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Yeah, I was I wasn't sure if there was any items back here. Couldn't remember, but there was not. I think this is the only item before yeah, before this. See what what does my inventory look like right now? Uh, not bad, honestly. We're, we're pretty good on handgun ammo. Uh, shotgun ammo leaves a little bit to be desired, but not horrific. Um, I have no grenades. But don't think I specifically need them until later. I shouldn't need it until after after I play as Carlos for a bit and I get to play as Jill again. Let me uh, let me just aggro these zombies over here. Just kind of kite them around. Yeah, there we go. Ta da! I, I honestly don't really need to bother with the zombies in this area because this is the only time I come to this area. So, oh, there's the barrel for the shotgun. Semi auto barrel. I'll combine that with that, and then I can. Actually, I'm going to use that. What am I doing? Oh, all I did was unequip. <sighs> I was trying to do Animal Crossing things again. Because, <laughs> like, basically back and forward on the menus are switched. So it's like... I was trying to go back, but I was pressing X. <laughs> no, not discard. Oh, there we go. Hey, Kendo. Jill. Kendo, you're all right. Yeah, I'm all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. Are we? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We can use a manager skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Look, uh, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. I just have to gun sent around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything. Yeah, apparently he's the one that made the Samurai oh, Edge job, models, right? so. Uh, I didn't realize that until someone else said it. Like, I, I don't know if it was a streamer or a chatter. Oh, I just realized when she's just holding the grenade launcher, she's holding it by the, the that like top part. It's cool. I didn't know that. When she's one hand holding the grenade launcher, I should say. Oh shit, I forgot you get up. Okay. Use these assholes that are always fun to deal with. 
thankfully they go down pretty easy. How am I still in caution? I used a... Oh, I never realized you there. Ah, what the? I hit you. Yeah, when did I get when did I get hurt? Cause I used the the herb and the. I used the herb in the shop. I got sidetracked. I tried to discard the the key <laughs> in the middle of doing that. Oh yeah, and here's this wonderful part. Where Nemesis looks like a fucking badass, but... Rocket launcher? Really? Oh, he's, he's really trying to go for me this time. Yeah, he's really trying to go for me this time. Wait for it, wait for it. I'm trying to get him closer. Ah, oh, damn it, he, he pushed me into... <laughs> he pushed me into progressing. Jim, you okay? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed it. Me too. Okay, well, I definitely can't do it now. Ah! Damn it. Alright, when, when, when will that load me back in? Will it load me back in after the car almost flattens me? Or before when we're in the alleyway? Because if it's before when we're in the alleyway, I do want to try to stop him again to try to get whatever he has. Whatever his, uh, Supply drop is right now. Oh, wow, it's starting me all the way back here. Does his all like hello thing? Damn it! Ow! Hold on. After me, big guy. Okay, never mind. I'll just have to fight him later on. Hey, welcome back, Les. Oh no! Wee! 
<laughs> Honestly, the amount of injuries Jill takes in this game, she should be dead like 10 times over. I'll just have to, I'll have to deal with Nemi when, uh, Time than that. <laughs> I guess not. If you hit by rolling objects, you will be killed. Keep moving no matter how strange the situation may be. Yeah, I, I know, I know. <laughs> I just I, I thought I had more time. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, I feel like that moves faster on hardcore. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be fighting him in such close quarters, but damn it! Or what I should have done is I should have kited him back down to the the electrical box and stunned him there. I honestly don't even remember what this phase of Nemesis gives me. We'll figure it out. We'll find out. Nothing to really figure out. What? Mm. I was sprinting. I was going as fast as I fucking could. Hmm. I didn't think I'd get stuck on this part. <laughs> Although I could have been done with this a while back if I just... If if I wasn't so adamant on downing Nemesis in order to try to take his supply crate. Hey, 
big guy. Hey, you should come this way. Ow. Oh, now he's coming this way. Dear God. Okay, I don't think I'll actually be able to down him right now. Because <laughs> the only way I was able to do it on my casual uh, off-stream playthrough is... And I don't remember what he drops, but... Um, is I took a lot of rockets. So I'm, I'm just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to power through this and just keep running. I don't think I can down him with my current loadout. If I had a grenade... Yeah, no, I don't have a grenade. If I had my grenade that's in my box, I'd be able to do it. Nope. This is insane. No, I got stuck! Mm. I hate those medians. Those medians are stupid. I also hate what the fuck the camera does. Whenever it comes back, it does like this weird... But I gotta remember, it'll probably save me a bit of time. I do have a, I do have a 180 turn. If I hit back and circle, I can turn 180 real quick. So I should probably do that. This is insane. Oh God. Okay, I'm not doing the 180 turn, because I did it, and the camera went weird. Because the camera was doing that weird, like, thing. And so then it was, like, facing that way. This should be a fucking action set piece that's easy to not die from. <laughs> not something that I'm legitimately stuck on. want from me game what do you want me to do because I don't know I don't know what you're wanting from me game I tried to play things the way you want me to play them and it it doesn't work and the minute I try to do something weird oh yeah you can avoid it this time and then die from nemesis because you're trying something weird but the minute I'm like you know what I'll just play the game as intended then, oh no, you can't get past the giant fucking rolling head. This is insane. I'm just gonna... It's one way to do it, I guess. He's sprinting. Joke, this way. Yep, I'm coming. Okay, finally. That was annoying.
Get out of here. Alright. I think uh I think we'll go to where Carlos starts and then I think we're probably gonna call it. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start. Thanks for the same. Hey. Or we'll we'll at least get to the first. Or the the, the first save file in RPD. And uh that should be everyone out of the city now. Should be a good spot. Yeah. Now you'll be safe. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Why not? Now that we knew orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Probably one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. The city and to find Nathaniel Bart. I think that this made me fall in love with Mikhail. Right? Mikhail. Do not worry. Mikhail. The civilians are safe. The train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you. Leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. <laughs> okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. You don't like Fucking you Nikolai. Good luck. Let's go. Oh. I was like, what what was that noise? I, I had put my I put my controller down on my desk. <laughs> I like how he just straight up calls out Nikolai right here. Why? Are you worried about the minutes? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the game was not. <laughs> he straight up calls out Nikolai and Nikolai gets saved by the bell or the boom how is this fucker not dead yet he know. they're gone come he swipe his thing Nikolai what are you doing it's not after the it's funny going back through that cutscene and watching Nikolai's reactions to all of it. Rather than the people who are the point of focus. Get off my train. Shit's burned up. <laughs> oh my god, Mikhail. Mikhail's a badass. Mikhail. One of my favorite characters in the game. <laughs> Love that scene. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's gotta be clear of the city by now. How long with your hot date? Nah, she's not like that. She's not like anybody. <laughs> I like how they actually made Carlos like likable. Because <laughs> in the in the um, from what I know about the original, like he was just kind of a douche the whole way through. I mean, he was nice. Right. Obviously, he was like supposed to be the hero, but like he was kind of RE4 Leon esque. Looks like a cemetery. Basically, he never he never really he never really had much of an arc from when you first see him. From what I know, I could be I could be wrong, Stop! but they did make him a lot more like a normal guy and not just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm this guy. Like, like, like how he is in the beginning of the game. Uh, 
Ah, uh, let's see. Like, like he's he's like always hitting on Jill and shit, and like. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. But like this one, they, they actually turned him into a pretty good character. Like, and he has a full-on like arc and everything. These stars. It's open. That could be useful. So I don't see why so many people have trouble with the assault rifle. Our intel's still worth a damn than Bard's in the Star's office. Find him and take him into custody. Oh. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Huh. If you're in a menu. Carlos, take a look at this. No, oh, never mind. I've located the star's office. Oh no, is he bugged? Is he bugged? Remember, okay. Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. He wasn't bugged. I just I just messed up. I wasn't wasn't thinking good. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here. And find Me out brain no work station. too good. Call you if I find anything. Okay, so hey. what I'm gonna do? Be careful. Yeah. You too. Also, I didn't realize, but this, I I have not used this as Carlos enough because this is basically his secret weapon. Uh. Basically, Falcon punches people, and it's awesome. <laughs> but I'll need to do that more next time because, uh, you yeah, know, I'm 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 gonna be calling it about right here. The save at this place. Basically, the same place I stopped at on my casual playthrough. See, it's 2.14 that I got there th that time. Five? Oh, no way, that's that's just... That's that's what time it is right now. Not, not game time. Right. Okay, but yeah, we're going to call it for tonight. Thank you all so much for stopping by. You guys are awesome. Hopefully stream some more tomorrow. And, uh... Probably stream some more tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed... Thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you around.